Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Welcome back to Route 11 where we stopped our journey last time. Uh, I, I don't know why, but I have such a foreboding feeling on this route. Whenever there's like a bunch of these psychic guys that we might encounter, like, oh, like this, like, ugh. Okay, so that chick very clearly gonna have a bunch of fighting type Pokemon. Let's see. I've got Goyron up front. The Psy Shock should do it. Luke Xander's gonna steer clear. We're weak here and here with normal type. Well, you're like neutral, it should be. Our big defender, weak to fighting. That's not good. The next gym is a fighting type. I'm pretty sure Axe, when he evolves, will pick up a darkness typing that will make him a little weak. So we really, it's just down to Juju and Goyron right here. Yeah, bleh, okay. All right, let's do it. Game on. Can I get a thing? Oh, what she got? A battle girl's power comes from her belt, you know. What, do you have like a cool belt? Does it give you like a power boost or something? She's got one Pokemon, Mind Fu. Okay, I'm less worried now. I think we got this. I was thinking she was gonna have like Machamp or something. Something you wouldn't expect. Something they put in there because they know people play Nuzlocke challenges. Psyshock, go! And a one-hit kill on a level 28 Pokemon. What? Goyren? Oh my god, but seriously. I was sort of just saying it out loud, but kaboom! Just like that. Goyren with the win. Battle girl, Geraldine. Gotta keep my belt tied tight. Yeah, I mean, you probably should. Looks like pretty loose clothing otherwise. Um, so I'm saying... All right, we did it, and, and people are like, you don't, oh God, hollow clip. Let's see. Hmm, ah, Sikuma, hello there. Looks like you've almost made it to Shale or City. That's fantastic. It's your, it looks like our Pokemon. It looks like your journey with the Pokemon around the Kale Street is going swimmingly. Wanted to tell you about a person in Shale who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. They call him the Mega Evolution Guru. Do you think they could have called him anything less obvious? Why didn't you tell me about this guy way before? Oh my god. Anyway, I've told everyone else about him. Yeah. I feel like I could have figured it out that that guy might know something about Mega Evolution. Without your help, Professor. Yes. See, look at this. Now, Kakut. Thank you, Goyron. Having a good day thus far. We can go get that TM. Yeah, okay, we're not going to run into anything. Yay. Rock polish. I'm not sure it was worth it. Not sure it was worth it. I mean, I don't mind rock polish, but here we go. Okay, you'll recall a few episodes ago where I was worried about a particular uh, brawn, like brains and brawn duo. Uh, fight and I thought it was before a cave the glittering cave. I was incorrect. It's right here. I am now Oh Boy, okay, so we have to prepare for this I I'm pretty sure they have a Kadabra and a Machoke and that they are not messing around So we're definitely gonna lead with Goyrin because to take down the Machoke But who should we do? for the Kadabra so the tricky thing is, I'd love to put in Fatterhorn to just take down the Machoke. But, or to take down, to be the special defensive wall against the Kadabra. But, as it were, weak to Machoke. Mm. So, we could, I guess we could bring in Axe, right? Because he's not weak... Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Goyrin and Axe. We got our two, we got two big levels up front. Let's take a quick look at you, mister. Mm-hmm. Others can join in the round. Yeah, no one else has round. That's silly. It'd be great if Water Pulse hit multiple targets, but I don't think so. Okay. Okay. The other question is, should we straight up go for the light screen in this fight? Or should we just try and kill the Machoke outright? I'm pretty- mm, I'm nervous about this fight. I don't know if you can tell, but I am. Whew, here we go. Ra, huh, hi Behold the result of my training. All right. Brains and brawn. Frank and Slash. 
Mr. Mime and Machoke. Okay, it's not a Kadabra, but I was right about the Machoke. Okay, okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's see. The Machoke is so strong. It's going to get Psy Shook, though. And I just want to get rid of it. Let's see. If I do... Hmm. It only hits one. Water Pulse only hits one. I want that Machoke dead. Because then I'm feeling a lot better about this fight. There we go. Goyrin, you Psy Shock. Apparently super fast. Do it, Goyrin. Oh, and Water Pulse. So we're going to knock it out. One shot. One kill. Two shots. One kill. But nonetheless. And then this thing's probably going to use, like, Reflect or something. Boom! Axe, 29. And the strong gets stronger. Just like that. Mr. Mime used what? A Reflect. Predictable. This is actually a weird situation where Psy Shock will be weakened. I think weakened by that because... It uses our special attack, but hits their defense, right? That's how it works. Anyway, we're just gonna wear it down either way because it's got nothing. Sai Shock! Whew. Oh, yeah, we got this. And it's confused. I'm feeling very good about our odds all of a sudden. Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Oh, our tactics are amazing my gosh this whole, I, i'm so glad we did the grinding this could have been an insanely harder fight quick attack go for the win boom mighty axe bringing it down just like that we're we gonna get a level yes goyrin oh my gosh coming out of nowhere is this huge powerhouse all of a sudden and guys no joke axe getting close to evolution again it's outrageous. I guess it, these are the only two Pokemon on our team that have evolved. Yeah, these two have evolved. Fatterhorn can't. Well, Fatterhorn is an evolution, I guess. Um, but won't evolve. Cloeo still can. Jude still can. Lucasander still can. Oh, man. The team has much more strength to be gained. We have four full more evolutions that might happen along the way. Oh boy, I have to tell you, let's see. Um, after Goyrin's uh, recent emergence as a psychic powerhouse, definitely winning much favor on the team that was lacking uh, before when Goyrin was just an Esper and was like creeping around camp. The evolution has just changed her so much. She's so much more lively and interactive. And as I said, I feel like Luke Xander was quick to make friends with Goyren. You know, they, as I said, she just sort of rides around on his back a lot, which is really adorable. But um, we also know the addition of Luke Xander on the team was a little, a little fraught because it meant replacing Mats, and that was upsetting to Fatterhorn. But uh, now the two of the two of them, or I guess Goyren being such a supporter of Luke Xander, definitely helping. Uh, with Fatterhorn there, and then Goyrin and Chloeo both get, kind of got that, that that girl power. The only two girls on the team, you know. Juge, I would say, continues to be a little bit lax. Um, a little not super motivated in battle. Which, mm, I mean, when you're surrounded by such stronger friends, it's sort of like, why would I be? You know what I mean? Uh, so, part of that's just going to be on me to train him up a little bit more. Let's see, anything on these? Anything on these? Reflection Cave! Ooh, 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 ooh. What have you got? Okay, I think I saw an item over here. So we can catch something new in the Reflection Cave. That'll be nice. Oh! Oh, I hate running into stuff that we cannot get. Hey, a Star Evia! That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we can't. I was going to say, oh, maybe we should catch it so we can... Just like switch it in on our fighting gym, but obviously we already caught Hariyama. Hyper potion, solid, 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 solid. I'll take that. And then what's up these steps? Oh no, oh, it's gonna be. Oh, a Thunderstone. This is otherwise gonna be one of those flying fights and we don't have anything that flies on our team. So it's not gonna fly. You know what I mean. All right. 
Uh, something new. We get to catch something in the reflection cave. What will it be? No bikes. No roller skates. There's a lot of, uh, I want to say, psychic Pokemon in here. Um, so let's see. We, oh boy. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is our first encounter in Reflection Cave. What's it going to be? Is it a horde battle? It is. Oh, and it's Mime Juniors. Oh, no. It's so lame. Oh, it's so lame. Light screen. I guess we should try and catch something. I don't mind Mr. Mime, but... I'm positive there's cooler things in this cave, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, Goyrin. Throw up the light screen just so we don't take too much weird damage here. I wouldn't fight, I hate it when the hordes are our first thing because it's like, now I have to fight it because we want the Pokemon just in case, but man. Oh my gosh. Are you about to light screen your team? Oh, this is so annoying. Each one of them is using an attack that can hit multiple times and doing like one damage each. Oh my gosh. Worst fight ever. Worst fight ever. I'm not even sure I'm going to make you sit through it. I might just... Derek, can we just edit to the point where I'm throwing the Pokeball? Okay! My goodness. Longest fight ever. Here we go. Great ball. <sighs> what? Bwah. Bwah. Yay, we win! Oh, goodness. Alright, let's go find a name real quick. Sordillo! The Mime Jr. Welcome to the box. Now, the only thing about Mr. Mime that's particularly fun in this game is that... Um, it, it just picked up the fairy typing. So, there's that. You get the fairy type. Hooray. Fairies, good. Especially because they're new in this generation, so they want you to use one because they want to show off how different it is. Which, uh, boy, let's see. Are we going to have to fight this guy? I feel like maybe I should even super potion just because of all the stupid double slaps there. Oh, look, we're back to full health. Oh, my gosh. And I also feel like maybe we should switch who is out in front because Goyren doing great, but also Fatter Horn. Let's throw you up front there, bud. Just to scout out because these guys do like reflection fights. Yeah. Oh, you saw me in the reflection and now you're fighting me for real. This place, I want to say, has some sneaky, difficult fights in it. We'll see. We'll see. There's like a lot of exploring to do inside the reflection cave. Of yourself. No, just kidding. Mud sport. Wow, that was effective. What is that? Water? Electricity's power was weakened. My goodness. Mm hmm. But what about body slam power? What about you're paralyzed? So. I don't think, even though it's showing electric shocks, that uh, it's any less effective at stopping you and getting body slammed. There you go. Well done, Fatterhorn. Fatterhorn levels up so slowly. My goodness. Especially compared to, like, Axe. <laughs> Whenever Axe gets any amount of experience, it's like, whoosh! Flying up them charts. Let's see. Where'd he go? How about this way? What's over here? What's over here? Mm-hmm. A carbink. See, we could have caught a carbink. I'm not sure that would have been any more exciting. Maybe it's a fairy? It looks like a rock. We got away safely. Good for us. If we're going to be running into all sorts of rocks, though, we should, maybe maybe we should even consider Juge up front. A nest ball? Mmm. Glad we came down here. But what about that? Is that a pathway we could walk down? Is this a Pokemon we could fight? Oh, Solosis! Oh, I love Solosis! See, this would have been a really exciting thing to catch. I mean, I probably wouldn't come on the team because we've already got Goyrin, but, you know. Body slam! You're dead. Crushed you into little jelly. But I do like Reuniclus. Very cool Pokemon. Very cool indeed. Is that, this is another horde fight. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, it's the Mime Juniors. They're back. Oh, God. They saw us catch the first one. Mighty Sordillo. 
And now they're back with their double slaps. Oh, if we had not escaped that and we had to sit through five turns of it. Oh, oh, how frustrated I would have been. Ooh, item. A revive. Basically useless for this particular playthrough because, uh, you know, we can't revive anybody ever. They're just dead. That's a Pokemon from the ceiling. Don't want to have to deal with that. What's over here? What's going on? This is a... Oh! Full-grown mime! What up? The mimes are attacking us. They're upset we took one of their own. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, I don't really want to fight it. Let's body slam it. Oh, reflect. Good, 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 good. That won't make body slam less effective. Yes, it will. Oh, it's so effective. So frustrating. Unable to move. Fortunately, it doesn't super matter because we can still take him down in just three shots. And maybe he'll be paralyzed. Oh, light screen. Cool. All of the barriers. It's fine with me because that's not going to help you in the um in the battles to come. And the strength is going to punch you right in the face. So see you. God, the paralyzing nature of Body Slam is so powerful. I love it. What's this? There's nothing up here. What a waste. Oh, I don't know if you, man, that was my stomach. It is rumbly. A horde of rock and roller. Okay, let's actually see if we can go to Juge here. Because he could hit them all with Razor Leaf and potentially knock them all out. Potentially? I bet they have sturdy headbutt. Uh-oh. Tackle. Uh-oh. They are significantly more uh, effective than the mimes. Wow. Maybe I don't want to fight. Oh, look. We had a berry. Oh, okay. Well, I feel better about it, honestly. Let's go Razor Leaf. That should hit everything. And we have Synthesis. I forgot that, too. Haven't done enough fighting with old Jews lately. Everyone not don't have... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Juge, what are you doing? Don't you dare. No, not Sand Attack. Oh, no. Not sand attack, no! I don't like it. Oh man. Gosh, I was so confident that we would just launch another razor leaf, but now I feel like we might miss a few and then we'd be in danger somehow. Hmm. Razor leaf go. Razor leaf go. Three of them avoided it! We're gonna knock out two. This is a dumb fight, isn't it? If we die to these wild rock and roller. Okay, that's good. That one didn't hit us. Oh no. And tackle. Mm-hmm. This is all this is all going exactly how I imagined it. Let's just uh we're just gonna get out while we're ahead. Mm-hmm. That was no good at all. Juge, juge, juge. You almost got the level, buddy. You almost got the level. We are going to put Juge in front so that we don't have to waste the turn switching in and maybe we'll come across more rock-type Pokemon. He can just raise your leaf into the ground. That'd be that'd be wonderful. Oh, hi. What's up? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the strongest of them all? I bet you think it's you. But it's not. Battle Girl Hedvig. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Okay. Okay. It's fine. We're good. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Mm. Let's. 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 Leech seed, first of all. Go, Juge. You can do this. Oh, we avoided it. Maybe you can't do it. Juge! Oh. Okay. I stand corrected. We are in a, we've got a tough, we're in a bad, this is, hmm, I really wish you'd gotten the leech seat off, but you did not. 
okay, I just sort of ran into this fight and got surprised by it, so I probably wouldn't have led with you if I'd seen it coming. Uh, I really want to get into Goyrin here. Very badly. Um, but how do we get to her? I mean, we can just switch, but are we gonna... Um... Are we gonna be risking... We have... I mean, it's not bad. Not bad defenses there. Okay. We're just gonna switch right into Goyrin. Switch! Oh gosh! Juge! My goodness! You almost died! Okay, look at that! Goyrin! This is like the episode of Goyrin. My goodness! Oh, we only have three Psy Shocks because of those stupid Mime Juniors. See, throw definitely is the more defensive one of these two, because I bet she has Sock as well. Bulldoze! Don't lower our speed. Yeah, it did. Mm-hmm. It's okay, we should... I bet we're still faster. Yeah, we are. And we Psy Shocked you! Ba-boom! Now I bet she has... Sock. Juge! Way to get that level, I guess. How Lucha! Oh, this is danger. Oh, God, this is not good. How Lucha is like a serious threat to our team. Um, I guess we're gonna have to Psy Shock. But should we heal? Should we heal? I feel like a How Lucha could take us down from here. But if we don't launch the Psy Shock, we might be. That might be our only opportunity. Wow, this is a weird fight. This is a weird fight. I don't like it at all. We're in such a we're such a range, and we've lost that speed, which means it's almost definitely faster than us now. So it's gonna hit us. If it does that flying press move, that's gonna be really bad news. Let's okay. I know this is the more conservative way to go about it, but let's see. We have forty six health. Let's just see how this goes. Let's see how his first attack goes. There he is. Let's see. How do we how do we take it? Okay, that was okay. Now let's try our Psy Shock. That was it, we only have one Psy Shock, so. Oh, no crits, no crits, no crits. Whew! Whew! Dangerous! Please just kill him! Oh, it's so close! Okay, we're gonna have to heal again. Let's see if there will be, um... Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. This'll be fine. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I want to think that Disarming Voice can do this. Another Aerial Ace. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank goodness he didn't get any sort of weird crits. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, goodness. But we we're out of our Psy Shocks. That's dangerous. Goyron, level 28. Charge Beam. That seems good. Oh, my gosh. Forget. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Use of that charge of the user may to raise its special attacks. That what a random move for us to be trying to learn. I would love to get rid of cut. I think we should keep disarming voice and side shock. Let's see, disarming voice, forty damage. Never misses. Charge beam 50 and 90. Disarming voice 40. Perfect. It's not that. Mm, light screen seems too good to pass on. I can't get rid of cut. But at least we got rock polish earlier. Mm, okay, let's see. I think we have to pass on charge beam. If it's really a problem, we can try and relearn it later. Sorry. Uh, 
That's a cool move. But I've been using light screen. Ah, see, thing. This is the thing about the Nuzlocke. Like things like light screen are just too, too important. All right, we might have to try and remember that we can we can learn something better later on if we could just forget cut at some point. That's going to be worth remembering. Do we have any um? Ather, yes, there it is. Psy shock, yay. And then also super potion on you because you've been insanely useful today. And on uh, you because I just, I still don't want you to die, Juge. Let's, let's be real. What's over here? The, this item had better be so amazing. A Sableye! Oh man, that would have been exciting too, but no, we got Mime Jr. Couldn't get away! Juge, you gotta, you gotta have a little more effort, man. Okay, my goodness. I wanna fight that Sableye. Ugh! What's it gonna be? Rock and roll up. All right, Juge, this is your time, Ben. This is you. You can one-shot this thing. Probably not, since you couldn't one-shot the level 11s, but two shots seems insanely not in your iron defense is not our friend either. Okay, cool. Razor Leaf. Is this going to take four shots when we have the type advantage? Oh! Oh! Some effort! Look at that, landing that crit. Fighting that iron defense. My goodness, Juge, that was impressive. All right, a moonstone. Wow, we came all the way over here for that. Remember when we didn't catch that other moon rock? That, not saw rock, Lunatone? Mm, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. Not one of our better moments. Oh, I'm glad we didn't catch a chingling either. That would have been a lame one. Okay, Juge. I don't. Let's see how this goes. I don't think this thing can hurt you that bad. Growl. Okay, it lowered our attack, but does that count as something that will activate payback? It's super effective. We're just gonna do that again either way. All right. Boom! 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 boom. Hey, we did it! Look at that. Two fights in a row. Way to go, Juge. You're on the rise like bread oh that girl looks like she might be tough hmm. looks like maybe an ace trainer type kind so we're not going to lead with juge here let's go with chloeo who has not done much fighting today reflection fight i saw you in the reflection <laughs> ace trainer indeed what she got do duo interesting interesting choice we have a lion what do you think about that mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's right neither one of you dodo heads better be eating any berries i'll tell you that let's go we're gonna try and be a little more patient and we're gonna do work up to try and carry us through the fight there we go Raise those stats. Uproar. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, weirdly, weirdly damaging, but fire fang. <laughs> Uproar, I want to say, I think it like in swarms, like if they're all, oh, look at that. Oh, do we have a berry too? Ha ha, an orange berry. <laughs> lovely, lovely fire fang. Destroy this thing. Cut its heads off. Fight them clean. Dead. There we go. <laughs> the Orin Berry. Helioptile! Oh, okay. I have no idea what this thing's capable of. Um. I kind of want to headbutt it to just try and go for the, the flinch. Oh, 
Razor Wind whipped up a Whirlwind. Oh, God, it's not even going to hit us this turn. Okay, so definitely going to headbutt again. Kaboom. Yes. Get a level. Get the level, chloe -o. Boink. Level 27. That's what's up. Very good. And a grand ball, a grand ball. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't like it at all. This thing looks very strong. What? I don't even know what typing grand ball is. Fighting? Fairy? I'm gonna look it up. Straight up fairy. Great. Good to know. Um, in that case, I think let's... Uh, I'm gonna switch to... Oh, let's go to... Let's go to Fats here. I don't like that Intimidate being on chloe -o. Donk. Headbutt. Yeah, okay. I think we got this. Oh, you got the, oh, right. Rocky Helmet, always very good. Um, body Slam. Charm, oh no. He's got some tactics on him. He's got some tactics. That's okay. We got tactics too, it's called you're paralyzed, maybe. No, nope, you weren't, but it's okay. You will be, by the end. It's also called we're wearing a helmet with rocks on it, so deal with that. Mm-hmm, we did not get flinched, that's important. And he's paralyzed. I knew it. I knew you would be. Which means, incoming! Giant Snorlax. Bought a slam! It did! There it is. Better horn with the level. Everyone's getting up there. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes, Chloeo. Fantastic. All right, well, we've been going for nearly 40 minutes here. We're halfway through the Reflection Cave. We've done a lot of very good battles today. I think this is where we're going to call it. In the next episode, we shall finish off the Reflection Cave and I guess meet up with the Mega Evolution Guru or whoever, whatever. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave a like on the video if you haven't already and make sure you get a comment down there so that you're in the running to have a Pokemon named after you in a future episode. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, do that. Click the bell, do all the things, you know, whatever. Awesome, your viewership is greatly appreciated. Until next time, bye.